A very good afternoon to all my dear students as well as their parents. I am Mrs. Caroline Messi and I will be taking class 3rd B. So due to COVID-19, we are unable to take your classes in school. That is why we are providing you classes online so that you can keep up with your further scores. And also all the assignments will be given online till everything opens. So today we are going to study English literature and your first chapter is Noi Saves a Whale. So this is a very interesting story about a small boy named as Noi and how he saves a whale. Now whale is a very very big fish. It is the biggest fish in the sea. So as you all can see this is the small boy named Noi. This is Noi and this is the fish. This is the whale that is the biggest fish in the sea. This is called as seashore. The part between land and water is seashore and this is the ocean that is filled with water. The seashore is filled with sand. The ocean is filled with water. So children now I'm going to read you the chapter and you can listen very carefully. Noi and his father lived on an island. Well, island is a place, it is a small land which is surrounded by water. So that is called an island. Their house was very close to the sea. Noi's father was a fisherman. Now we all have parents who are working and Noi's father worked as a fisherman. Now fisherman is a man who sells Fishes. Noi's father worked as a fisherman to earn money and they had a house very close to the sea on an island. Island is a place, it is a small piece of land which is surrounded by water. Okay, so on the four sides, on all the sides they have water and in between they have a land. Now I'm going to show you a small picture and that you can see how an island looks. Every day he left early for a long day's work on his fishing boat and came back home only after dark. Now being a fisherman is a very very tough job. You have to work all day and night because if the fish is coming, if they are not coming in your net, you have to wait the whole day. So it is a very very tough job. One night, a great storm raged around their house. In the morning, Noi went down to the beach to see what had been left behind by the storm. So one night, what happened? A huge storm. Now storm, what is a storm? Storm takes place where there is huge amount of rain and thunder and lightning and there is huge disturbance in the atmosphere that causes disturbance in your house. That so this little boy Noi was very curious to see what the storm has left behind. Now when there is a huge amount of thunder and rain and everything is wet you know a lot of things come with it a lot of things flow with it now when your house is on an island a lot of things from the ocean come up on the land so noi was very interested to see what the storm has brought near the house as he walked along the seashore he spotted something in the distance what is that he asked himself so as he went out of the house near the seashore, now seashore is the land between the ocean and the island, okay? It is the boundary between the land and the ocean, okay? So when he went out of the house, he spotted something and he saw something far away, okay? What is that? He asked himself. When he got closer, Noi could not believe his eyes. He could not believe what he saw. Oh my, that's a baby whale. Now it was a baby whale. Baby whale is small baby of the mama bee. Oh my, that's a baby whale, he exclaimed. 
exclaimed means he was surprised okay a little whale was lying on the beach it must have been washed up because of the storm no he wondered what he could do to help the whale he knew that it wasn't good for the whale to be out of the water as it could not survive on the land for long now noy is a very intelligent child so he knows that whales or any other fish cannot survive out of water because fishes breathe inside the water so they live inside the water they cannot stay on the land they cannot live on the land noy understood that the whale came due to storm okay because of the storm it came along with huge amount of water that came on the land the baby whale also came on the land so now the baby whale cannot survive without water and it has to be taken back so noy has to think of something just then noy remembered something he ran home and got a bucket he filled the bucket with water from the sea and poured it over the whale noy had once read that if a whale is washed ashore one should pour cold water on it okay now as we had discussed it earlier that noy is a very intelligent boy yes so noy read it somewhere that if a fish is washed up by any storm uh you know because there is huge waves in the sea so because of the waves also they can come on the land yes huge waves just fall up on the land so with it the fishes also come yes so if the fishes are washed up are brought onto the shore due to waves from the sea yeah you can put a little bit of cold water to comfort them because you know fishes cannot breathe out of water they breathe only inside the water so if you put a little bit of cold water on the fishes they feel a little bit comfortable yes let's continue reading yes now i must be quick he thought he ran home again and brought back his pull cart with much difficulty he lifted the whale and then put it in the cart yes so noy is a small boy and whales are very big even baby whales are very very big so it was very difficult for him to lift the baby whale and put it in his pull cart i'll show you what a pull cart is so now can you see the small boy noy yes this is a pull cart and he is pulling it with a string yeah see the baby whale is so sad and he is trying so hard to save the baby whale yes okay so now i pulled the cart and took him home yes he took the baby whale home so now i'll read ahead once he was home he filled his bathtub with cold water and put the whale in it I hope I have done enough to save the baby whale. Now I thought hopefully. Now I did everything to make the whale feel at home. He told the whale stories about his life by the sea with his father. He thought that his new friend was an excellent listener. Okay? So Noy always wanted a friend I guess Noy had very less friends or no friends that is why he took the whale with him home he filled his bathtub it's a tub in which you take bath yes so he took the whale he put the whale in his bathtub he filled it with the water and then he told stories about him and his father he thought the whale is listening okay but when it became dark and the night drew in noy got worried father will be very angry with me for bringing a whale inside the house when his father returned noy did not tell him anything at first he managed to keep his secret the whole evening he even managed to sneak in some supper for the whale 
but he knew he would not be able to keep his secret for long and he was right okay so uh, when it got dark when it was night time he got a little worried how will i hide this from my father my father will know that we have a whale in this house and he will be very angry yes you know children go out to play you see small puppies on the road and then you feel that okay let's take him home we, i'm going to play with him i'm going to keep him as my pet yes that's what noy thought that we can take him home but then your parents don't allow because it is a street dog and it belongs on the street same way the fish belong in the ocean not inside noy's house not inside anybody's house it belongs inside the water yes inside the ocean so noy tried to hide it from his father that they have a whale in their house yes so it was night time it was dinner time and noy sat for dinner he ate little bit of this dinner and saved a little bit for the whale so that he can take that dinner and feed it to the whale yes he thought that the whale would be hungry and they have no food so he took his dinner and gave it to the whale reading ahead after supper noy's father went upstairs and saw the whale then noy had to tell his father everything but his father wasn't angry so noy said can we please keep the baby whale father It is the only friend I have now. I'll take great care of it. Yes. So yes, Noy did not have many friends. It was the only friend that Noy had. Now we try so many things to hide it from our parents, you know, when we get bad marks or when the teacher scolds you in the school, you do not tell them at home and you try to hide it from your parents. same way noy tried to hide this thing from his parents that noy brought a whale in the house yes but eventually his father went upstairs and found out that there is a whale in their house but his father was not angry just like your parents will not be angry so we should not hide anything from our parents yes so you can see this is noy This is his father. This is the baby whale looks very sad and this is his bathtub. Reading ahead. I have been so busy, Noy. I never realized you were so lonely, said Noy's father sadly. I am so happy and proud of you for helping this little whale. But you see, Noy it must be missing its family we must take it back to the sea to the place where it belongs he added so children we all live with our family yes we have mother we have our father brothers sisters yes we have our grandparents yes some of us have our grandparents also and we love them we cannot live without them yes In the same way Noy's father explains to him very nicely that child the whale has his own family yes it must be missing his family that is why the whale is so sad and it needs to get back to his family Noy's father did not get angry on him because he brought a whale in his house why because Noy's father feels that he has been so busy that he did not see the that noy did not have any friend which is the reason why he brought the whale inside his house as a friend he wants to make a friend that is why noy brought the whale inside his house yes so his father was not angry on him he said baby we need to take the whale back to his family reading ahead noy and his father put the whale in a motor boat 
and rowed out into the dark sea. Then they put the whale back into the sea water. Noi knew it was the right thing to do, but it was very hard for him to say goodbye. However, he was glad his father was there with him. Yes, Noi often thought about the storm whale and wondered how big it would have become one day. He hoped that soon one day he would see his friend again. So children, as we know that whales are very big fishes. Yes, they take up such big space. Yes, and we saw that the baby whale was taking whole of noise bathtub. So just wonder how big it would have got when it grew up. Yes, so now I thought what would have happened if the fish grew up? How big it would have become? Yes, so Noi sat into a motorboat with his father and went into the ocean to leave the whale, the baby whale. Yes, they left the baby whale in. Now Noi was thinking about the good thing as well as the bad thing. Yes, he thought that if the whale stayed with him in his house, they would have become very good friends. Yes, but if the whale grew up, if the whale, as the time passes, the whale will grow up. And if the whale grew up, it will take huge amount of space and it will not be able to survive in his house. That would have been a problem. Yes, so the good thing was to leave the whale, the baby whale back into the ocean to his parents. Yes, so this was a wonderful house. That would have been a problem. Yes, so the good thing was to leave the whale, the baby whale back into the ocean to his parents. Yes, so the story Noi and a Whale is a beautiful story about compassion, about love, about friendship. So first thing what we saw, compassion. Second thing what we saw, love. Third thing what we saw? Friendship. Yes. Three things that we saw that every one of us should have when we make friends. Yes. Because it is the most important thing in life to be humble, to be compassionate, to be friendly with one another. Yes. Okay. So Noi was a very good boy. He was a very friendly boy. Yes, and we saw this in the story. This is a beautiful short story written by Benji Davis. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed the story. You can make a copy for it. Yes, and you can complete your worksheets. Thank you.